Betsy Kling and I are social distancing here in the studio, but we don't quite need to do the <laughs> FaceTime thing. We can still see each other from, from afar, right? We can. I can see you over a couple cameras and Hi, through the woods. Betsy. There you are. I see you over there. Yep. Brand there, yeah. Yep. I was just telling Russ that uh, I've been FaceTiming with my parents because I don't get to go over and see them. And uh, I'm, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning, something like that. They're still in their pajamas. <laughs> I'm like, what, what is going on here? It's like this total change of life. So I'm sure I'm not the only one that has their parents all, uh, that are not with them. You can't see them. You're trying to keep track of them. But boy, things are definitely a little different than they were before. All right, here's a 24-hour temperature change. Speaking of things are a little different than they were before, uh, we're only 10 degrees below where we were 24 hours ago in Lyria, but it's now 24 degrees colder in Dover. So finally, tropical Dover is feeling the chill just like everybody else is as all of Northeast Ohio is draining out. The cool air that's coming in is coming across the relatively warmer waters of Lake Erie. You know what that means? Yes, it does. It does mean that we still have some of that lake effect going on. Lake effect rain in this case as the temperatures are now in the 40s. You can see it is just a steady, light, yucky rain in Lake and Geauga counties. Periodic showers throughout Cuyahoga County and that also stretches back into portions of Lorain County. Remember, we are draining out. There is water standing everywhere, especially along our major rivers and down in the valleys and whatnot. So uh, where you see these dark green boxes, that's where we still have flood warnings that are in effect. Kilbuck Creek is uh, notorious for flooding. Uh, but all in all, it doesn't look like we have any heavy rain that's going to be coming back that will exacerbate the problems. As a matter of fact, over the next few hours, it's mainly cloud cover, which is sprinkles, but the temperatures stuck in the low and mid 40s. The big picture may look kind of ominous, but things are going to be shifting. We're going to do a little bob and weave in the forecast, all right? So we have an upper level low that's sitting up here in New England that is spinning the clouds down to the south of the lakes. That's why we're getting that. This storm system to the south of us will actually stay south, and the next big batch of energy coming on the west coast is a few days off. You can see all this transpiring in your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. The southern system stays south and moves out. We'll probably get some clouds, maybe a few sprinkles or showers off of that. But by the time Wednesday rolls around, we will see rapidly improving conditions. Conditions. That's going to give us a gorgeous day on Thursday. We'll have a really nice day on Friday, and this next round of rain looks like it's not going to sneak in here until we get into Sunday. Your hour by hour forecast still has the lake effect showers in as we head through the night tonight. Winds becoming northerly, temperatures dipping back into the mid 30s for the day tomorrow, and it looks like we're going to get stuck in the clouds as we go through most of the day. I think we might be able to recover back into the mid 40s away from the lake. You're probably going to be low 40s through the day along the lake shore. Universal Windows Direct forecast forecast though is definitely going in the right direction. The temperatures are getting back into the 60s by the start of the weekend. And yes, friends, the sun will be coming back. We'll have more details on all that later on tonight. But for now, we'll be right back.